Hi, if you have millions of records and you want to move it from one AWS account to another and you are trying with a traditional way, so it will take a lot of your time. Uh, if you have one million, uh, one TB or two TB files and you want to move it, so it will take uh, almost two or three days to move all those files. So for this issue, uh, uh, I will today I will work in a, a data sync service of AWS. Um, so starting from the step one, I have created a source bucket here and put some dummy files and then I have another bucket, uh, the destination bucket I have created. Um, I will move file to this account. So for step one, just make sure you have a proper bucket policy here. Um, so I have prepared uh, some script already here. Uh, I will attach this script in the video description. So you will uh, just copy it and paste it here. Um, uh, so I have two statements in this policy. The first statement is to allow the allow uh, specific actions to the uh, this role and user, and the second is the same. Like we have again uh, uh, allowing some other actions to the same user. Um, so for this, you will need to destination account ID. Uh, I will need to copy the destination account ID from here. Uh, just replace it all uh, title which I mentioned just for the reference so destination account ID is replaced now we will need to create a role in the destination account um, so going to the role section of the I'm role uh, just create a role here select the AWS service select data sync service from the drop down and then click on the data sync move next next give this role a name I am giving it a data sync role so that's it create a role so once this role is created you will need to uh, open that role again and will need to click on the create inline policy so once the inline policy is open click on the json format here okay and go to the, the text again i have uh, again some policies uh, here some statements so i will need to copy this and will paste it the destination role section so we are again giving some access to this bucket source bucket so what is our source bucket our source bucket name is s3 source 01 replace it with your source bucket okay S same here review policy and give it some name migration policy create policy Okay, so when it's created, it will assign to that role uh, uh, automatically. So it's created, and now we have a proper role here. Moving again to the uh, source bucket. So I have created this role in the destination bucket and mention it here. For the next step, uh, I will need to uh, mention here my current login user which I have set up in the terminal so in terminal you will need to integrate the AWS CLI and uh, just configure AWS configure your destination account user here so I have created a user in the destination account and uh, configure it in the AWS CLI run this command to make sure that uh, from which user I am logging. So currently I am logging from this user uh, from the destination account. All right. So um, going back to that uh, source bucket, replace it with your name and here as well. Okay. That's it. Save changes. Uh, we have some error here. Uh, policy has invalid source okay so source bucket is we don't have any source bucket here so we will need to 
add that bucket name here we have a source bucket which we created and we will need to mention that bucket name in this policy so that's it for the source bucket we are done with the source now moving it to the destination account in the destination account the first step is to make sure that your object ownership is disabled so click on the permission tab scroll down you will find this tab here edit it and make sure that it's disabled if it is enabled make it disabled uh, otherwise it will not working okay um, moving it to the bucket policy so for the destination account i have also a policy i need to copy this policy from here paste it in the destination account replace this id again with the source uh, destination account okay replacing it uh, with the one and also i have a role data sync role in the destination account and it's here okay and then again i will copy my username from here right and we'll put it here okay and then we will need to change the destination bucket name all right it's the bucket name save changes so that's it for the destination as well then uh, we will need to uh, another step so here is uh, the command which uh, which is for to create a location in the data sync service so if you have uh, knowledge that about that data sync uh, and uh, data sync service if you want to move uh, data from one location to another location so we will need to create a location here so we will not create location from this button we will create location from the command line because it's from the another account um, so this command is to create a location of uh, s3 and uh, data sync and then we have a bucket in s3 source bucket here okay we want to create a source location we have a class of standard make it as it is don't need to change it and then we have uh, here we have a role we will need to add a role here which we created uh, earlier in the destination account so our role name is data sync role and we are using us east uh, region if you are using any other region change it with your uh, according your requirement all right and going to my terminal and terminal paste this command and hit enter so uh, if you are uh, it's return this this location arn that's mean your location is created if it's not return this message that's mean your location is not created um, so that's the main uh, uh, identity that your location is created so as you can see uh, location is created here uh, and uh, uh, it's this s3 source uh, uh, bucket here host so and another step is once location is created go to task create a task create create a new location or choose an existing so we will choose an existing location which we just created so we are just created s3 source okay click on next button so in the destination location you will need to choose the destination location so i will just choose the s3 destination look uh, bucket which we uh, created uh, earlier class will be standard folder will be empty if you have any specific folder and you want all data to move that specific folder you can do it um, so uh, for the role I will uh, assign a role which we created earlier uh, so that's it uh, for this task create a task give this task a name I am giving it a migration leave it as it is by default uh, if you have uh, you can change it with your requirement or uh, according to your requirement you can do it whatever you suit okay going next preview it's looking fine create task 
okay task is created so now you will need to start this task just click on this button task is started and you can track your migration from the performance section so it will take two or three minutes to prepare all the files and will move it in bulk once it's prepared so i will need to pause this video for a few minutes we'll be back in a while okay so it's uh, took uh, around two minutes so all the files are moved to the destination account as you can see the status is success and files are transferred so let me take a look at the destination account here so as you can see all files are loading here so i have uh, um, uh, put some uh, dummy files here but i have also tested it with the uh, uh, tb files and it's 10 time almost 10 time faster than the other way um so that's it for this video thank you, thank you.